explanatory memorandum that was in the United States. Uh, it was found in, an, in a second basement in the Muslim, in somebody that was high up in the Muslim Brotherhood, and it was uh, used in one of the largest cases at, uh, on terrorism in the United States, and is in the um, Muslim Muslim Brotherhood. So it was basically a document on how uh, on their plan to infiltrate the West. And I'm just going to bring it up here. It says, in the Muslim Brotherhood's own words, the process of settlement. <clears throat> is a civilization jihadist process with all the word means. The Ikhwan Muslim Brotherhood must understand that their work in America or Canada, UK, etc., is a kind of grand jihad in eliminating and destroying the Western civilization from within and sabotaging its miserable, miserable house by their hands and the hands of believers so that it is eliminated and God's, Allah's religion is made victorious over all other religions. And this is exactly verbatim what they're doing. The government uh, has, I did a huge report on all of this. Our intelligence has reviewed it. They told me it's accurate. And if it's accurate, we've had our intelligence come out. I don't know if you've heard about all of it right now. It's a huge topic in Canada about foreign interference in our government. And so we have many elected officials at all levels of government with dual citizenship. They need to be ousted. They need to be removed. Many of them are Muslim and Khalistani Sikhs. How stupid are we? And because we're so nice Canadians that we feel nobody should be discriminated against and everybody should be able to, uh, you know, worship their own God. It's like that doesn't work. Multiculturalism is a complete failure when the host values uh, countries aren't being embraced. And then you tell me where in the 56 Islamic majority countries where I as a white Christian woman could sit in office. 